Hi, and welcome to War. I'm Matt Swarczyk, Director of Television. Uh, we have a few bits that we couldn't quite fit into our live schedule, so I get to host this episode. Uh, so we're going to start off with Max with Hipster Gorilla. Let's check it out. You're not my son. You have to be my father! No, because I'm a gorilla, you're a monkey. There's a difference. We're the same family. Gorilla. Monkey. You look the same. Head of the tail. We're together. Not a hipster. I'm your boy. No. I'm G-Boy. Ah, uh, you're not my boy. G-Boy. No. G-Boy. No. Father. No. Father. I'm a hipster, and you're a hipster. We're the same thing. But I don't understand how you're a hipster. I got the swag on. The hipsters don't wear swag. We wear fancy things and swag. I don't think you know what a hipster is. No, this is the new age, man. No, it's not. I'm your son. It's new age. Yeah. I create the new age. No. Yes. Stop. You're not the new age. You're not the new age at all. You're not a hipster. Hipsters try to go against what's popular. But you, you're just covered in what's popular. I'm not. Flannels? Where has that been popular? Black pants? No. I lost my shoes a long time ago. That flood. I'm just wearing whatever I can find. But still, you're not a hipster. We're all hipsters. No! No, you're not. We look the same. We do the same thing. Tell me, when was the last time you listened to Huey Lewis in the news? Last time I, like, swag walked. You know, like how we always walk. Swag walked? Yeah, it's how you, no. how you keep the cool. No. We're hipster gorillas, man. No, for starters, you're not a hipster. You're way too mainstream. B. We're hipster gorillas. You're not even a gorilla. You're a monkey. Son. <laughs> no! Dad! 
dad, I love you. I will avenge you, father. Baby hair is gonna stop this. Baby hair is gonna stop this. Baby hair is gonna stop this. Don't hold baby hair. Baby hair don't like that. Please stop. Yeah, there's no applause here alone in the old studio, but that was a great bit, Max. And next, we're going to check out Maddie with Inside the Mind of Raven. Alright, uh, welcome back. Uh, no applause again. Empty studio. But we have one last piece, uh, and that is Gage Scott with the power of the cube. Let's take a look. Yeah, 
the other one with the paint on it. You still there? Dave? Yep. Hold the paint on it. Okay. Oh, he's coming. Got it. He'll be here soon, yeah. Are you sure? No. You're not sure? I'm not, no. Okay. He's, he's like a ninja sometimes. He just shows up. Is this the party? Oh, hey, Dave. Hey. You're right. He is, he's like a ninja. Yeah, he just shows up sometimes. So, Dave. So Dave, I understand you know what that is. Yes, I understand what this is, definitely. What you got here is a mighty magical cube. Okay, so how do I solve it? Well, it's a number of math, really. Of math. Yeah, a lot of math. Lots of math. You know, algebra, did you pass algebra? I think so. You think? Did you pass geometry? Maybe. Have you taken calculus yet? I'm like light years away from that. Well, this might be a little tough, but it, basically you need to match all the colors up together, but it's a, you need to get a pattern. It's like up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, you know, stuff like that. You think you can do it? I hope so. Well, otherwise, you're think. not gonna get your wish. What do you wish for? See, when I had one of those magical cubes, I got this beautiful sword. I mean, it was beautiful at some point. Did a lot of test runs. Not so beautiful anymore. It didn't really give me that good of a cube. You should wish wisely. Didn't you buy that? Yeah, uh, Garazzo. That fourth? No, that was my old sword. Oh, it was the old one? Yeah, that one oh. fell apart. Yeah. Very it's similar. Sword. It's a good sword. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I paid a lot of money. I wouldn't give that. <sighs> Dave does not take too kindly to this. I find what are you it. talking about? Yo, fuck. Let me, get, let me get something for the damages you did. I got that. That's exactly what I was looking for. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave. That's Davey. Cool. So, he was no help. No, we told him how to solve it. With math and stuff, man. He's cool, though. He, 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 he lives right across the street from me. I gotta go do research now. I gotta find how, how to do this! Yeah, but he lives right across the street from me, and, um, you know, sometimes he comes over for his Salisbury steak. Don't get it! How do you do this? What well, do you say you don't get it? What are you doing? I'm Dave. You met me from before. I stayed doing it all wrong. I'm gonna help you out a little bit. Come here, you're gonna get the notebook here. You see, you see this whole equation? It's wrong. What? It's all wrong. You see, you're thinking on all 3D scale, but what you need to think about is that it's a 2D, kind of like a window. 
type deal. You see, you want to turn the cube like up, down, left, right, all around like that, you know? So a formula like that is like pi equals other pi plus a good old, you know, what's your favorite type of cake? Cheese. You like cheesecake, eh? That's a good, simple, good cake, right, you know? It's not really a cake, but it's pretty good. You want to do cheesecake squared. That's how you get the pie. But you need to find what x is divided by c. c is your cube, and x is the number you need to get, all right? So, how, we, got, we got a pretty basic Rubik's Cube here. We got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you got all right, one, two, three, four, five, six sides on this cube. So our cube is six times eight. You understand? You following? Okay, good. So what is six times eight? Do you know what it is? That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Do you know what 3 times 8 is? Do you at least know what 8 plus 8 is? 16. 16? 8 plus 8 equals 16? Okay, 16 plus 16 equals... This is not school! Well, you need to go back to school to learn how you do your cubes so you can get your... Get out of here. You're useless to me. Oh. No. You just don't understand the math. No. You don't understand the math. Man, what? You just gave me that hat and you're going to ruin it already? Understand it. He knows now what he didn't before. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I wish, wish I had a cup of water. Wait, no! You gotta, you gotta be kidding me. You just wasted a wish on a glass of water. Wow, I'm very parched. I hate you, Dave. <laughs> Refreshing! And that's it for the show. I uh, hope you enjoyed that episode. A very special episode in an empty studio. Uh, have a great night.